Another big issue that continuing gun violence that we're seeing here in Portland. Now police investigating several more shootings again in Portland after yet another violent night and morning here in the Rose City. Well, we sent our Liz Birch to ask our local leaders tough questions. She joins us live now from Portland. Liz, you were able to speak one on one with Multnomah County Chair Deborah Kafori today, and you were able to get some answers too. tell us more. I was. I talked to her about this surge in gun violence. She says she's extremely concerned about it, not only just for the individuals it impacts, but also for the entire communities that are being traumatized by this. Just after 6 a.m. this morning, police responded to a report of a man shot and killed in southeast Portland. One being shot at 533 Southeast 128 Avenue, switch stops one. In southwest Portland, multiple officers responded to an apartment complex on 11th and Jefferson where one person was hurt in a shooting late last night. Multnomah County Chair Deborah Kafori tells me the county released a plan to work with youth and increase mental health services. Bolstering our behavioral health services is really a role that Multnomah County can play and something that we're focused on. She also talked about their work to get guns out of the hands of people who aren't supposed to have them and about a renewed focus on prosecution. This just recently, the Multnomah County Board of Commissioners voted for a million dollar increase to the district attorney's budget to fund four deputy district attorneys and two investigators. And with Portland nearing a record year for homicides, most of which are attributable to shootings, Kafori knows there's still work to be done. Do you think that the county has done enough up to this point? And what are the biggest challenges? What keeps you up at night about this? Um, I think knowing that people's lives are um, hanging on the edge, that there are people who, both who will be harmed and have been harmed, and also that there are, are folks who are so disengaged and disenfranchised that they resort to the only thing that they see as a, as a path forward. Uh, we all need to do more. As for those two most recent shootings in Portland, I mentioned police are still looking for whoever did that. Live in downtown Portland tonight, Liz Birch, Coin 6 News.